got the setup here. This is uh, kind of something we've put together over the years since we got a forklift, but we used to have to uh, put a coil down on like a brick or a pallet where it's elevated up off the ground like that and then stand on it or have somebody stand on it and use the saw to cut while somebody's standing on it. Um, I don't want to have arthritis at 45 so we use a forklift to hold the coils down and I'm going to show you one kind of cut that I talked about earlier. This will be relatively easy to hammer off so we're going to cut down this side on both sides and then we're going to hammer this off once we get that done. I might have to readjust the forklift to hold this side down. Um, and then I didn't talk about the blades. Um, I'm a big Milwaukee fan. That's not a product placement, placement but uh, they use the torch T. This is the carbide uh, torch. You can use either one. We just like these. All right, so now we've got the steel off the coil. That works on most of them because you can just take, this isn't folded back. Uh, basically covering up where you need to cut. So, you know, the steel was folded back this way. So we're able to get right up against it and cut it. Sometimes those U's are pointed back and it just takes too much time to fold them out or hammer them out to get that flush look. I'll show you a coil like this one here. The steel is folded towards the part we need to cut on and it just takes way too much time to fold that out of the way. So we'll just cut down the inside of this one. But uh, now we're gonna take and fold this up so we can get it on the trailer. See if I can get here. So basically we want it to just take up as little, little room as possible. Let's show you something else here. These uh, these coils here, American Standard and Train uses this. I've heard it called all kinds of things. Things, uh, spine fin, starburst, all kinds of crap. It's just uh, the tubing is down in there. This is an all aluminum coil. And then they've got this kind of, uh, you know, porcupine-esque aluminum sticking off of it so that the air can get through it as opposed to having the copper tubing Let's see if i can find a clean one here so you can kind of make it out through there you can see the light coming through and the copper tubing that runs through this coil and then these are aluminum fins on copper tubing where this coil is 100 percent aluminum and then they'll take and join the aluminum to the copper here so we don't have to do anything with these. I'll have to cut this bit of copper off of each one of these. And these just get loaded on the trailer. And we've got quite a few of these. That one, this one, here. Uh, there's a few more over there. But anyway, that's the breakdown of the coils. And uh, we're gonna finish getting these ready to take to the recycling shop.
All right, so we've uh, wrapped up, or I've wrapped up. We got all of these condensers torn down. We're using that unit for something else. There's a couple of air handlers over there in the corner. But this is all of the uh, me or copper and brass and steel that needs to be separated. Uh, this is all the use that got cut off of the ends of the coils. And this is the load of clean condenser coils. We've got the all aluminum train in American standard style coils there. And then, so we got the 16 foot trailer load. Um, not going to video or share any of this, but basically we'll have to come through, get all of these pieces separated into number one and number two like this is a piece of number two because it has a braze joint in it versus that being number one because it's just copper so you can kind of see the difference there got that little lip on this where it was brazed in at the factory um, so we'll separate all of that into those blue tubs over there number one number two We'll cut through all of this steel and brass, separate it into number one and number two, and brass and steel would be scrap metal, and that'll get taken to the uh, recycling vendor uh, at a later time. But I'll show you the process of getting these. It's a lot like uh, yesterday's load of scrap metal and compressors. It just gets offloaded at a different place, and then uh, we'll weigh in on the trailer because this will take forever for them to way individually on the scale. Something a little different today. Um, the line was backed up all the way out in the road. So we're gonna be dumping these coils at a different spot and get to bypass the line. So we're gonna offload the either the clean copper aluminum refrigeration coils first or the all aluminum coils first and then get back on the scale way again and then offload whatever we did in the first time so we're weighing in right now at 11 240. so we've got about 1200 pounds or so give or take 50 of coils because we were 10 something yesterday when we were empty. Empty at 10,060 pounds. So I'm gonna get out get our money for this load and uh, sometime in the next few weeks we'll go through and separate everything that's left and bring it back up here but that's uh that's what happens to old air conditioners heat pumps furnaces uh, one way or another whether the contractor that's removing your old system is uh, going through this process or it's being taken somewhere as a whole uh, it's some way or another going through some kind of process somewhat similar to what we've shown you in this video uh, it might be done differently different equipment used different style 
but that's how we do it. And uh, click the subscribe button if you want to see more uh, HVAC related videos.